Hi there, Matt Allington here. In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can import sheets from an Excel workbook. But more specifically, I want to be able to import the first sheet in the workbook. Now, this was a request from one of my clients and I thought it would be a great question and something that would be ideal for a YouTube video. So the point is we don't want to import this one here called July. What we want to import is whichever sheet appears first in the list. So that's the requirement and I'm going to show you how to do that now using Power Query. I'm going to use a Power Query from Power BI Desktop, but of course this technique will work equally as well if you use Power Query for Excel. Okay, so let's get on with it. Let me shut down the workbook. I'll save that. And I'll come in here, get data from Excel. I'm going to point to the named sheet. So there it is. And you would have seen this in one of my other videos. Um, here is a list of all the sheets in the workbook. Now this list is actually in alphabetical order, which is interesting. And there's no way here for me to determine which is the first sheet. So the trick is to right click and click edit and that skips the selection process and goes directly into Power Query and gives you a list of all of the sheets in the workbook and notice now how they're in the order in which they appear inside the workbook. They're no longer in alphabetical order. Now let me show you the problem that occurs if I select this first um, sheet here. So if I click on this table um, what happens is it loads that first sheet, but let's go and have a look at what's actually happened under the hood. So over here there are um, two steps, in fact there's three steps that were generated. A navigation step, promoted headers and change type. You're not going to be good at Power Query unless you turn on the formula bar here. To turn it on you need to go to the view menu and turn on the formula bar here. Once you've turned that on you can actually see what's happening under the hood when Power Query generates a step for you. So this navigation step, it said take the source, which is this previous step, and it selected the item called June and the kind called Sheet. And if we come back to this source step, you'll see that the item is a column and the kind is also a column. So effectively what we've done by clicking on this um, table here is it's put a filter on item equals June and kind equals sheet. That has completely identified the first row as a unique row and as a result it's gone ahead and loaded that um, particular sheet and then there's a couple of other automatic steps that have happened. Now as you can imagine the problem is that I have referenced the sheet by name. In fact, I haven't done it. It's been done automatically by Power Query. It's referred to the June sheet. When I executed this step, the June sheet happened to be the first one in the workbook. But if I come back here and change this, just take note that this customer number 16720 is June, July is 1478. So I'm just going to change the order of these sheets and save. And let's go back to Power Query. And if I refresh this now, you can see that the sheets have changed order. But when I come back to what got loaded, it's still 16720. So I've hard coded the loading of the sheet called June instead of referring to the relative first sheet in the workbook. Now there's a fairly easy fix to this. I have shown you this tip in some of my other videos. You can see here that this part of the code is referring to the columns and it's putting filter on those two columns. There is another way you can refer to objects in a list and that is to use the absolute reference. So just like in Excel, I can say just zero. Zero means give me the first object in the list. In other words, it's saying go to the source list. Here is the list and it's saying give me the first item in that list and give me the data column and remembering that the data column is the column that contains the data. And so after I make this change, you'll notice that the first item is this 14748, which is the July data. But if I now go back and swap the order again and bring the June one to the front, we're looking for 16720. I'll save that. Come back here. And now we hit refresh preview, you'll see that it changes. So what I've been able to do is instead of hard coding 
the item in the list, I've been able to select the first one. Um, Power Query uses a zero based index scheme, so zero means the first one, one means the second one, two means the third one and so on. Hope you found that useful. If you like my Power Query tips, I have a full online training course that you can take a look at. I'll provide a link at the bottom of the video.